You're looking at a scene in a home in Afghanistan that you would never have seen even just a few years ago when the Taliban was in power. Watching TV, even owning a TV, was forbidden. But many people kept their televisions hidden all these years, hoping one day for a change. And boy, has it changed. Afghanistan's television industry has flourished since the fall of the Taliban in late 2001. There are now about 65 TV stations across the country. And more than 80% of Afghans in the larger cities have access to a TV. There's even a 24-hour satellite news channel. Tonight, as part of her ongoing series, Afghanistan, What's Next?, Susan Ormiston introduces Canadians to two young, bright, and brave TV personalities who are pushing boundaries and breaking new ground. In the control room, Kabul Live is getting ready, tensions rising. A debate on peace with the Taliban is moments away. And host Sami Mehdi is nervous. He's missing guests. Two of my guests they called me in just uh, one hour before the show and said, we are not coming. And fortunately, one of them is coming back. And the other one, the Taliban uh, ambassador to Saudi Arabia, he is not coming. Now I'm calling the other one. The parliament member, Fawzia Kofi. She's coming. Television's exploding in Afghanistan. 20 new channels in five years. Afghans are tuning in, buying TVs wherever they can find them and carry them out. Better electricity in Kabul helps too. But it's the new edgy programming which is drawing in viewers. Take niqab. Women hidden behind masks talk publicly about private terrors, child marriage, abuse. Niqab is the creation of Sami Mehdi. Niqab, the mask. How did you come up with that? I always wanted to do something for women. Doing something for women, it means you're doing something for your mother. I'm sure the people will change their mind, especially men will change their mind. And uh, they will uh, understand that most of behavior they have with women is not good. And it's against law, it's against Islam. Do you ever get threatened because you're trying to do controversial programming? Some elements in our society don't like this program because they think they will lose their supremacy. And uh, we got some, some phone calls from people who are introducing themselves Taliban and they are asking to stop this program. But we will not stop it. But it's the first time in Afghanistan using this kind of backdrop. Sami's other passion is politics. TV One, only a year old, presents live political debates with a vote. How we reach peace. Yeah, how that's we reach peace. That's the main question. That's, that's the main question. And tonight, peace with the Taliban is presenting its own challenges. The problem all the time with political shows in Afghanistan is difficult. Even one, one minute before the show, saying, oh, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I'm, still, I'm still waiting to get confirmation from my guest. This is the problem. So it's, uh, it's supposed, to, supposed to be guest. Nine minutes to air, and you're missing a guest. Uh, no, actually, they are on the way. They are on the way. In the end, peace with the Taliban gets open debate, a rare event in Afghanistan. They have a voice, and uh, there is someone to listen to them. Many in this audience are opposed. They vote two to one against. Are they ready to speak up and speak out? They want to be involved in each moment and every second. Sometimes they think they are making the future of this country. That's why in the, I mean, in the very short time, this uh, program is now so popular.
Actually, the time was just 60 minutes, but we increased it to 90 minutes. Because everybody wanted to talk. Yeah, everybody wanted to talk. Sami Mehdi, a new generation of Afghans remaking the future.